it's hazardous to your financial health to bet all your savings or even worse borrowings on a so-called sure thing because um, there really is no sure thing in life except that the old chestnut death and taxes so i mean if that were true the best thing to be would be the government but if you're not the government then there really is no sure thing when it comes to finances and if anyone tells you otherwise they are lying to you it's just not possible by the laws of nature to have a sure thing when it comes to your money or multiplying your money so you don't take all your savings you certainly don't borrow money and bet it on a so-called sure thing what can you do then you could take a small portion of your income every month if you get paid every month you could take a small portion of it and put it aside if it's fiat currency though it's always devaluing so you take a portion and put it aside and it's better than nothing but the longer you keep it the lower the value goes if you just save it so you need to invest it you need to invest it you need to put it in something that grows but unless your tiny portion of the income that you put aside is huge i.e. you have an incredibly huge income then you are putting aside a small amount of money every month that's probably not enough to buy yourself a huge investment every month so you need to put it aside in something that grows steadily something that grows this could be in stocks which is the top of mind that everyone thinks of when they talk about investing it's the stock market they also think of unit trusts mutual funds which are all better than nothing of course investing in mutual funds would be better than just putting it in a savings account most of the time because you get better returns there and investing in the stock market if you know what you're doing would probably net you better returns than mutual funds that is if you know what you're doing if you do not know what you're doing you could learn or you could just put it in a mutual fund where you kind of outsource your investing to someone else that does it full time they get the lion's share of the profits of course and you get some of the profit which again is better than nothing another area that you could invest in is in your own business you could if you have a hundred thousand you could open a restaurant and see it succeed or see it fail or you could bite the bullet and join an MLM a network marketing company that thing that you've been laughing at all these years laughing at people who go into MLMs and network marketing because it's it is laughable when you first start out you need to sell stuff and you get a little bit of money here a little bit of money there which doesn't compare to just freaking go out and get a job and get a salary when you first start out in network marketing or MLM it, it looks like a joke <laughs> hence a lot of people laugh at it but well honestly an MLM is not a job network marketing is not a job 
it is a business or you could say it's a sales job except uh, it's not a job you don't get paid if you don't sell it is a business you're going into business for yourself but it is a sales business it's not a job where you just show up do what you're told and collect your salary it's not like that so if you do have a job right now the wise thing to do would be to take a small portion of that and invest it in a network marketing business of your own an MLM or affiliate marketing something like that what matters is consistency you take a small portion regularly put it aside in your own little laughable business and watch it grow like a tiny seed and a sapling and then a tiny tree and let it grow if you keep it watering it keep fertilizing it it will grow into a tree and bear you fruit and then one day you can eat of the fruit of that tree that's really how it goes really or you could just keep living off your salary and keep growing that salary till you reach a ceiling and keep breaking through the ceiling and break the next ceiling until whenever if you are a superb careerist and you could get to a point where your salary is a million dollars that would be I suppose that would be good but again the corporate system is a pyramid there's only one person on top in terms of the employees of course and in a pyramid the higher you go the more you get paid the ones that really get the lion's share of the profits are those who own the pyramid whatever system you're in if you have a traditional job you don't own the pyramid you don't even own that job what you do own is I guess nothing you rent your place in that pyramid and you get paid for as long as you remain in that pyramid and if you're an adept careerist you climb that pyramid till you get closer and closer to the top and the rental that is paid to you for your time and your blood and sweat and tears increases more and more but you're just collecting rent for your labor which is essentially your physical work even if you are in a white collar work highly specialized um, knowledge work it depends on your physical body because the ability of your brain of your mind depends on your brain and the health of your brain depends on the health of your body so it does come down to physical labor if you are in a corporate pyramid you are renting out your physical labor for varying sums of rent Take a portion of that rent that is paid to you for your physical labor and invest it in buying your own little pyramid or your own little space in a big pyramid and watch it grow. Maybe in another video, I'll talk about the difference between a multi-level or network marketing pyramid uh, versus a pyramid scam.